Welcome to the Yearly On. We offer programs for families and children zero to six years of age. Hello everybody, my name is Maria. Today we're going to be doing a cooking activity. A cooking activity that you could do with your kids if you like, or make for your kids. So the theme is movie theater pretzel rods, so it's kind of like a fun maybe Friday night movie night uh, snack to make. So they're um, pretzel rods. So when you're at the mall and they have those soft pretzels with the coarse salt on them or cheese or whatever, uh, that's what we're going to be making. So we're going to start out with our dough, which is over here. I bought uh, pre-made dough at the grocery store. You can also make your own dough. The recipe that we're going to include today has a recipe for the dough if you'd like to make it yourself. It's pretty easy, but it's a little bit more time consuming than if you just bought the dough yourself. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with, actually we're going to start by um, putting parchment paper or wax paper on a cookie sheet. And a little trick that I learned is the paper flops around, but if you use a little bit of cooking spray and then put the paper down, it will stick and then you won't have to worry about that. Okay, now I just wanted to um, come over here for a minute. I have water that is boiling because you're going to need the dough that we're going to make, we're going to uh, mold them into pretzel sticks, but before we, uh, after we do that, we boil them in water and baking soda. So boiling water and baking soda for 30 seconds before we put them in the oven. So um, it's a good idea to have that maybe going before. And another word of warning, I guess, when you add the baking soda to the boiling water, it foams up. So maybe just add a little bit at a time. At a time. Kind of foams up like the volcanoes that the kids make with the vinegar and the baking soda. So definitely that's something that they'll need supervision with. So I'm just going to add it now. I'm actually going to remove it from the burner and add a little bit of baking soda at a time. The amounts will be in the recipe. We'll have the recipe included in the uh, video today. Okay, so I've got that. All right. That's boiling. Okay. So I'm going to get start with the dough, get a little piece of dough, some flour. I'm going to roll it out a little bit. And while, you, while you're doing this, you can sing with the kids. You could sing, roll, roll, roll the dough, roll it in a stick. Roll, roll, roll the dough, roll it in a stick. Okay, so I'm going to form it. And actually, I like uh, rolling it in your hands because it makes it, you can make long, big sticks, you can make short sticks, however, uh, whatever length, you can make them all different sizes. So I'm going to start with three because I've got some made up ahead of time that you can see what they look like. So. Maybe if you dip it in the flour and then you sing your roll, roll, roll your dough, roll it between your hands. Roll, roll, roll the dough, roll it between your hands. Okay, I've got two. You could like lengthen them, shorten them, whatever you like. The other thing you could do too is you could season the dough. If you're making it from scratch, you could actually season the dough while you're making it. Uh, while you're mixing it up, you could put garlic powder right in the dough. Uh, these don't have to be a salty, savory snack. They could also be something sweet. So you could add maybe a little bit of sugar, or you could add some cinnamon to the dough if you want to make cinnamon, uh, sugar, cinnamon, cinnamon, sugar pretzel rods. Okay, so I've got three of these. I'm going to throw them in the water. They cook for 30 seconds. Now, when you're putting them in, putting them in the water um, just make sure you don't put too many in at once um, because they need room they need room to move around and to cook so that's going to go for 30 seconds and when that comes out we're going to drain it on a paper towel i'll make some more while i'm sitting here talking uh, drain it on a paper towel and then we're going to do the next step which is to put it on the baking sheet so I think maybe we'll make some small ones. Oh, they're ready. I've got my paper towel and plate already ready here. All right. So you can see that they're, they've cooked a little bit. I'm going to put them on our parchment paper on the cookie sheet. 
And then the fun part is deciding what flavors you want to make. So the first thing we need to do though is to brush the tops with an egg, an egg wash. So what we're gonna do is you want the egg yolk and some water. So I've got some water in here. So this is a, this is a fine time to teach your kids how to crack an egg. So you're gonna crack the egg. This might be a little bit trickier because we only want the yolk, but um, I use my, my hand to let the white run out and then we've got the egg yolk in the water. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Now we're gonna, so you're gonna beat this up. Definitely something the kids could do. Beat up the egg wash. And then you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna brush each of the pretzel sticks. Move that so you can see each of the pretzel sticks with the egg wash. Alrighty, that looks good. So, uh, some toppings I have, I have some coarse salt, so that's basically like a basic pretzel, so I'm gonna put some coarse salt on that one. I'm gonna make this one into like a pizza, so I'm gonna put some sauce and some cheese. And then this last one, I'm gonna put some salt. I'm going to grab some, I would grab garlic powder if I had it, and I'd put some garlic powder on it. Then I'm going to put some cheese on it. So it's like a cheese, uh, garlic cheese stick. Okay, so you're going to take those and you're going to bake them in a 400 degree oven for approximately 9 to 11 minutes. Um, they will brown up, and if they're not brown enough, you can just leave them in the oven, but they'll brown up and you can... Uh, Take them out but I have some that I've made up ahead of time so I'm going to show you those. I made just plain ones and they do taste like the pretzel rods that you get at the mall or at a store. Um, I'm thinking it must be the baking soda in the water that does something to give it that flavor. Um, another thing, another topping you could do is cinnamon sugar. If you wanted to do it sweet you could do cinnamon sugar and then when they come out you could dip them in a warm cheese sauce, not the cinnamon ones but these ones you could dip in a warm cheese sauce. Um, the cinnamon ones you could dip in maple syrup or dip, dip in honey. Um, just, you could just be creative, whatever your family likes. Thank you for joining us today for our early on activity.